Mm, well, just got off the phone with my lover, James Brolin. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, and apparently he is married to some singer. <laughs> but he said he would leave her for me. And I said, James, James Brolin, are you sure? <laughs> James Brolin said, Rachel's really the one who's pregnant? What? <laughs> Why bother? I don't know. I don't know how I feel. This is all happening so fast. I have to make all these decisions that I don't want to make. Oh, oh someone just take this away from me. I, calm down. Maybe you're not pregnant. What? When I got pregnant with the triplets, I took that test like three times just to make sure. Yes, maybe it's a false positive. Are you sure you peed on the stick right? How many ways are there to do that? I'm, I'm just saying, don't freak out until you're 100% sure. I think she's trying to tell us something. <laughs> Quick, get the verbs. <laughs> Ow. You! You! You did something like me! You! 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 So low pokes! That's all right, Rich. We got the bags. Uh... Hi, hello. Hi. Oh, honey. Julie, this is my sister, Monica. This is Chandler. Hey. Hey, Phoebe. Hi. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Joey, what up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everyone, this is Julie. Oh. Hi. 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 But I'm not here. You haven't met me. I'll make a much better first impression tomorrow when I don't have 20 hours of cabin playing on me. And bus. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, with the screaming guy. And the oh my. spitting and yeah, the. You, you, tell, you gotta hear this story. <laughs> We're on this bus that's easily 200 years old, e right? 200 at least. And this guy. And the chicken poops in her lap. <laughs> So sorry. I just gave away the ending, didn't I? Oh, it's just I just heard this story in the cab, and it is all I can think about. <laughs> this is amazing. This is Phoebe. This is going to be okay. Ross, 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 Ross. <laughs> hi, hi. Are you a uh, friend of Rachel's? Yes, yes, I am. Are you a? Uh... A friend of Rachel's? Actually, I'm, uh, kind of a, you know, a date type thing <laughs> of Rachel. Uh, a date? Yeah, I'm her date. Oh, oh, you're, uh, you're, oh, you're the date. You know, this is actually good, because if we ever lose Ross, we have a spare. <laughs> oh, you are the, uh, paleontologist. Yes, yes, I am. And you are a <laughs> periodontist. See, now they're as different as night and later that night. <laughs> well, I am going to uh, get a beverage. <laughs> uh, it was nice, nice uh, meeting you. Ditto. I can't believe two cows made the ultimate sacrifice so you guys could watch TV with your feet up. Well, they're chair-shaped cows. We never would have survived in a while. This thing is amazing. I mean, Dick Van Dyke is practically life-size. Uh -huh. Boom! <laughs> Rose Marie really belongs on a smaller screen, doesn't she? <laughs> Hi, you guys. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, 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 hey. So, uh, how was your day? Oh, you know, pretty much the usual, uh... Sun shining, birds chirping. Really? Mine too. Hey, cool, mine too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get to the museum. So, um, I'll see you tonight. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, hi. Tonight? Hey, yo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's tonight? It is our first official date. All right, all right. You know what? This isn't funny anymore. There's something about me on that piece of paper, and I want to see it. No, you don't. 
<laughs> you know what? Fine. If you guys want to be children about this, that's fine. I do not need to say. Oh, 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 oh. That is, okay, um, that's, that's, no, no, no. It, uh, Ross, what is this? Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> okay, just, just remember how crazy I am about you, okay? Kind of ditzy. <clears throat> Too into her looks. Spoiled? Now, that's a little spoiled. He was supposed to type little, the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> just a waitress? Now, that, that was, uh... I mean, as opposed to, uh, the, um, okay, is, is this over yet, <laughs> Rach? Uh, I do not have chubby ankles. No, I, no, wait, 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 okay, okay, look at the other side, look at Julie's column. She's not Rachel? Oh. What the hell's a Rachel? No. Is that some stupid paleontology word that I wouldn't know because I'm just a waitress? No. Rach, come on, Rach, Rach! Wait, no, 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 it's, it's, she's not Rachel. She's, she's not, Ra Rachel. <laughs> oh my God, look, there's Roy Gublik. Oh, you know, Roy saw Star Wars 317 times. His name was in the paper. <laughs> Where's Chip? Why isn't he here yet? He'll be here, okay? Take a chill pill. There. <laughs> I just told Rachel that Roy touched my boob. <laughs> I can't go to my own prom without a date. I can't. It's too late. Well, you know, you're not going, and I don't want to go either. No. Oh, I'm going to kick Chip Taff. <laughs> I have a wonderful idea. You should take Rachel to the prom. <laughs> Doubtful. Jack, give me that. Talk to your son. I got him. This thing's heavy. Your mother's right. Take her. You could wear my tux. Dad, she wouldn't want to go with me. Of course she would. You're a college man. I don't know. Well, come on. Don't you want to find out? I'm I can't believe I don't get to go to my own prom. Is it so harsh? Okay. Hold my board. Atta boy. Atta boy. Okay, you guys, you know, I think we've seen enough. Let's turn no, it off. No, 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 Wait, whoa, whoa, you, you gave her the ring? No, no, and I did not ask her to marry me. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And don't you say you didn't. Ah. He was right there. He got down on one knee and he proposed. Whoa, you were down on one knee? Yeah, yeah, that looks bad. But, uh, but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't propose. Then what did happen? Yeah, what did happen? Okay, the ring fell on the floor, and I went down to pick it up, and you thought I was proposing. Yeah, but you said, will you marry me? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <gasps> oh, my God, you didn't. <laughs> oh, well, then why didn't you tell me that before? Well, I tried, but people kept coming in, and then you took your breast out. Whoa, well, hey. <laughs> Oh, you saw her breast? I'll tell you about it later. Be cool. Well, then, wait, Joey, then what the hell were you doing with an engagement ring? It wasn't my ring. It's Ross's ring. That's why I felt so bad, Rach, because he was going to propose. What? How you doing? Oh, not bad. You know that feeling when you're trying to blow a St. Bernard out your ass? <laughs> Weirdest thing, did I hear? Mother, God is true. Chandler Bing! Ja Janice, not just Janice, Janice and labor, contracting and everything. Oh, the 
should be easy. I have a very wide pelvis. You remember, Chandler. <laughs> Janice, I didn't even know you were pregnant. Who's the unwitting human whose essence you've stolen? <laughs> it's you. This is yours. What? That's funny. Does it, does it hurt? Does the labor hurt? Hi, you guys, the car service just got here. I can't believe they're not home yet. I have to catch my stupid plane. I want to see the baby. Well, Monica just called from the cab. She said they should be here any minute. And uh, apparently there's some big surprise. Yeah, don't, does she sound happy about it? Because my friend Ethel's baby was born with a teeny tiny beard. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Hey, so what is the big surprise? Okay, 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 awkward question. The hospital knows you took two, right? <laughs> Oh my God. They're so cute. Oh now, what, what, what kinds are they? Are they... Okay. This is a boy, and that's a girl. Oh. Oh, her name is Erica. Oh. Oh. Hey, that pregnant girl's name was Erica. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame you two didn't get to spend more time together. Yeah, and we named the boy Jack after Dad. Oh, he's going to be so happy. Ah, oh, Jack Bing. I love that. Well, it sounds like a, like a 40s newspaper guy, you know? Jack Bing, Morning Gazette. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow this story wide open. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so beautiful. I want one. Oh, yeah? Well, tell me which one. I'll try to slip it in my coat. <laughs> Seriously. You want to make one of those? One? How about a whole bunch? Really? Yeah. Oh, we can teach them to sing and we can be like the Von Trapp family. <laughs> Only without the Nazis. Although that sounds kind of dull. Oh, you guys, I can't believe this. If I don't leave now, I'm going to miss my plane. I'm just so glad you got to see the me babies. Me too. <laughs> you guys took off. Oh, no, no, no. She took off. With my clothes! Are you naked in there? Well, not exactly. I'm wearing panties. <laughs> you, uh, you always wear panties? No, no. This is the first time. Wow. Talk about your bad luck. I mean, the first time you try panties and someone walks off with your clothes. <laughs> I was not trying them out. Susie asked me to wear them. Well, let me see. No. I'm not letting you or anybody else see ever. All right, all right. Whoa. Someone's flossing. Joey, uh, some people don't like that. Chandler's wearing panties. What? Let me see. No, no, you don't have to see. Hi, Tushy. All right. Why don't you give me your underpants? Oh, no, no, no. Can't help you. I'm not wearing any. How can you not be wearing any underwear? Oh, I'm getting heat from the guy in the hot pink thong. All right, look, Ross, I'll give you $50 for your underpants. Hey. hey. <laughs> 